the fight for Fort Collins, two red hot teams, and a battle of the Patriots. I believe you're alluding to yes, this week's Game of the Week nominees. <laughs> Scotty Gaines with us now to share the fun. Hi, Scotty. Hey, guys. I didn't know we were doing this today, really. So <laughs> just walking by? Yeah, just <laughs> hey, drove yeah, on in, chatting. didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but seriously, I mean, the Game of the Week festivities, each and every week has gotten to be more fun. It's so cool, seriously, to see the kids fired up and to see good football, too. And so for that reason, right here, candidate number one for our nine news game of the week is the fight for Fort Collins. Rocky Mountain taking on Fort Collins High School. It's pretty cool, you know, because if Fort Collins wins over Rocky, then they'll have completed their city sweep as they already took down Poudre and Fossil Ridge in Fort Collins this season. But this may be their toughest test yet. Crosstown rivalries, immaculate vibes. <laughs> we love that, hey, in the 2A division, we got some love for the smaller schools. Candidate number, number two, it's Platte Valley and it's Bertha. The Broncos and the Spartans are Patriot League opponents, but they didn't get to play each other last year due to COVID. So you know they're going to be hungry. They're going to be fired up to get after it. And in the 4A division, our candidate number three is Dakota Ridge and Brighton. Now both of these teams have scored over 40 points in their wins last week, so they're absolutely on fire. It's set to be an offensive showdown. We love offense. Hey, the winning school, it's like, oh, what happens if you win? Well, for one, you get to go on the nine news roller coaster as we've done throughout the year. Uh, I tell you, by the way, there's no greater power than that of roller coaster leader. It just, it fuels me. It fuels me. It really does. But hey, we'll make it to your school, your tailgate, and enjoy a great day of excitement and feature your game on the nine news prep rally on Saturday morning for the whole state to see. So last week's winner, by the way, recorded over 20,000 votes, and you can find our poll on 9news.com slash HSS. Right now, voting is on. It ends Thursday at 10 a.m., and the fun begins Friday. I'm Scotty Gange. I what if you're the one that can't let go on the roller coaster? I'm one of those. Well, that you can do that. You can just well, stay no, there. No, because it's no fun. You'd be the well, one doing that. That's the f that's the fun, Kim, because you get to pretend like you're free, free going on this time. Okay. Uh, yes. I, I will say <laughs> that if you're on the roller coaster ride, immaculate vibes. Immaculate, immaculate don't you think vibes. I'm yeah. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> I just wanted him to I say that again. You say that I, just, too. I just want him to you say it again. Scotty it's again. the best part. Are we supposed to say Thursday, 10 a.m.? Yeah, but we never get it right. Yeah, you so guys we never it. get it right. So oh, I we don't. We'd try it so Scotty's not excised us. So from now that. we've got immaculate vibes. Immaculate vibes. Well, That's what the cool kids say. say. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs>